How's it going everyone? How are you all doing? I hope you're all doing great and I hope you're all staying safe. In today's video, we're taking a look at something super exciting. As you all know, I'm super into haptics, super into making VR more immersive. So I'm happy to say that like in today's story, I told you guys that in fact, we have been sent a VR haptics gun stock from ProTube which is a super exciting because apparently they watched the last review I made for them and they heard the fact that I was talking about B haptics and well, it turns out that they have a haptic solution of their own and I am super excited to test this out. This is actually going to be my first ever VR gameplay with haptics. I know it's hard to believe that uh, after all, this is sort of my job. So you'd think I would have done it before, but no, we're going into this for the first time together to check this out, try it out, see what it's like, see if it actually adds to the immersion. Also, this huge thing is now on the wall. So if you guys didn't notice that from yesterday's video, normally it's going to be showing an image related to the video. But for today, I thought it would be kind of cool to bring up the live sub count up there. It doesn't move very fast, but when it does move, it's pretty cool. So tell me what you think. I think without further ado, let's get this thing set up and check out how it works. So first things first, this thing attaches to the gun stock. This is just the haptics module. The gun stock we have reviewed with population one on the Oculus Quest one. However, this is the module and the module can either connect to your headset and there's, I think, a few experiences that actually support that on the headset itself, or you get a nice little Bluetooth dongle to connect it to your computer. Also, I want to make something very clear. I wasn't paid by ProTube to record this video. I was just sent this to check it out. So all the opinions here are entirely my own. And uh, yeah, so here's the module. My first kind of impression is it feels very premium, very, very tough and heavy, actually. So, wow, that is a uh, that is very high resolution. It is, it seems 3D printed again, just like the last one, which I really, really like. I love 3D printing in general, but these guys seem to have a much higher resolution printer than I do. And it has a nice soft foam here, because this is of course what you're going to put here. So, uh, you know, needs to be nice and comfortable. USB-C port for charging, I see. And uh, yeah, damn, this thing looks super high tech. How do we turn it on? So I'm gonna plug this thing to charge because I'm actually not sure how much percent it's at. And uh, I'll be right back to you guys once I have this thing powered up because I'm still not 100% sure where the power button's at. Okay, so good news, I have it charged up and I have managed to find the power button, which is right here. Their little logo here, that's the power button. How they did that, I'm not 100% sure, but that is some cool 3D printing right there. I have also plugged the USB dongle into my PC. So let's power this thing on and you are going to see that it starts blinking or at least hopefully you will see on this camera. And then I can just hop straight into my PC, click on Bluetooth, add a Bluetooth device, add a Bluetooth device, Bluetooth. And now it's going to find it as force tube VR. I'm gonna click connect. Your device is ready to go. That was pretty damn simple. So let's get the headset mounted and see what this thing can do. Okay, so once you're in the game, let me show you what you do to enable this thing. So in Pavlov, just go into settings, general, and you turn on force tube haptics. Pretty simple. Let's hop into a game. There we go. I felt that. Oh yeah. That is pretty cool. Okay, let's get immersed. There we go. Okay, let's go on a rumble, shall we? Gonna grab this. Gonna grab another one of these, just in case I lose one, because you never know what will happen on the battlefield. And let's go. One. Nailed it. Oh yes. And of course, depending on which gun you choose, you're actually gonna have different haptics to go with it. So right now, with this specific one, I'm feeling kind of like a constant rumble when I'm shooting. While if I were to choose a different gun, of course, I would feel something completely different. And there's of course, an also a tuning app to go with this. So you actually get to tune exactly how much feedback you want, uh, even in natively supported apps. So you get to tune stuff like this in Pavlov, but then in case the app doesn't natively support it, you can also 
use that app for Steam VR compatibility and use sound to play around with this, which is pretty dope because that means you have quite a few customizability options, even if the app doesn't support it, which is quite nice. But, you know, of course, the natively supporting apps are going to do this much, much better. So dropping that gun, let's try out another one, shall we? Just because, as I said, every gun is going to have a different rumble to it. This one, I, I assume just kind of uses sound because, I mean, you don't put it up against yourself here. But let's use this one, for example. And no, I don't know the names of these guns. So, oh yeah, that's, that's straight away a different one. That's, that's a different kind of kick it gives. Ooh, that's, that, that's kind of punchy. Oh yeah, that's, that's cool. That's a nice one right there. Let's grab this one here. Oh, that's, that's like a fast, fast kicking action right there. I think you guys can hear it kicking in in the background there. Yep. So that one's like a fast, fast action. And again, all of this is like tunable and then here we've got what i believe is a sniper yep let's try this one out yeah so that's kind of like one very firm kick and again you can bring the strength of that up in the app that you can download straight off their website oh yeah that's pretty cool ah uh, yes i like that i like the way it kind of like kicks me <laughs> and uh, if I were to bring this up in the app that would get a lot lot more aggressive so let's actually do that right now let's uh let's bring this up in the app and if I open it up you can see here we have enables steam VR compatibility native game customization and it just rumbled there now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna bring up pretty much everything and we'll see what that's like hopping right back into the game Oh, that's pretty weird. That is a much stronger kick right there that I'm getting out of that right now. So let me grab this one. Oh yeah. That's like a very, very fast kick that you get from that one. This one I believe was pretty firm. Yep. And now it's, it's doing kind of like a kick and a rumble more of than just kind of kicking it all at once, which is pretty interesting. So hopping into the app again, if we bring down the duration, this should be quite interesting. Oh yes. That, that's pretty cool. The fact that you can fine tune all of this to kind of fit your liking, I really like that. Oh yeah. That is pretty damn cool. I think this is amazing. I think we should jump to the conclusion because I mean, for a first time, and I did play around just a tiny little bit to get the gist of it before I, uh, before I turned on the camera to start recording, because I needed to figure out how to install everything and download the app. I think this is amazing. I think it's incredible, and the fact that it adds so much immersion to the gameplay, as well as the gun stock itself, I think that's pretty cool. So, there we go, guys. That was pretty amazing. Adding haptics to VR is exactly what I thought it would be. It adds that immersion to the gameplay. Now, this is pretty interesting because you have so many different modes, so many different weapons that you can choose from. You can customize it entirely to your liking. So, a few guns have kind of like a kick and then a rumble, which is quite interesting. And I'm not sure how immersive I feel about that one but then others have this like constant kicking. And from what I've seen, depending on what game you play it on, certain games have better native support than others. So certain games will give you a much better feedback than others. But just playing around in Pavlov right there, that was a pretty damn cool experience. And hopefully I get to do a live stream and try maybe Population 1 on it in Steam VR with that Steam VR sound compatibility. Again, I'm not being paid to check this out. They were just kind enough to send it out to me to check out and uh, get my thoughts on it. So I think that's pretty damn cool. Haptics in VR are just as amazing as I thought they would be. And I am certainly going to attempt to be checking out more haptics in the future because this gets me excited. This honestly gets me pretty damn excited about haptics for VR and what else they could be doing. It adds that little extra layer of immersion, you know? We have the visuals, we've got the audio, now we need the feelings. No, the haptic. <laughs> the kind of 
physical, you know? I mean, not necessarily physical that it'll hurt, but physical, because that adds to trickery in the brain and that's really damn cool and it's done very very well here especially with that gun stock where i can physically hold the gun and feel it in my hand that's pretty cool so yeah no certainly congrats to protube it's really really good product uh you can check that out down in the description below guys that is an affiliate link if any of you do want to buy this but it is down in the description below so super excited thank you so much for coming along on this journey with me uh trying out vr haptics for the very first time makes me super super happy that i got the chance to do this and uh yeah if you guys liked today's video, please give it a like. If you guys disliked it, I guess this one works too. But please tell me why down in the comment section below. If you guys haven't yet checked out yesterday's podcast episode, I would say definitely check it out. It's a pretty damn cool one. We went into evil technology and what technology will do to take over the world. I mean, not necessarily, but I won't spoil it for you. And if you guys would like to support the channel in any way, shape or form, we've got mugs and we've got really cool merch that you can put onto yourself that will not put a huge ad on your body because as the community knows I'm not a huge fan of putting ads on your body but uh, unfortunately I'm not wearing that today because that's uh, in the wash so <laughs> yeah but if you guys are not yet part of the community but would like to join well we have a discord down below we also have a reddit down below where I want to see you guys posting your spicy memes and if you guys want to see future content coming up on the channel daily make sure to smack that subscribe button with your forehead ding my bell and see you again in the next video peace